Greetings. My name is Tim Stark, and I'm a professor of civil engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm recording videos to demonstrate various ASTM test methods to measure the index and certify properties of geomembranes to assess and evaluate their effectiveness for containment applications. Today, I will demonstrate a field test for evaluating field and factory seams. The test is ASTM D4437, standard practice for non-destructive testing for determining the integrity of seams in joining flexible polymeric sheet geomembranes. ASTM D4437 has a several tests referenced in it. I will focus today on the Air Lance test. The first video gives an overview of the test and then I'll discuss some of the specifics about the test. Here is the Air Lance test with a technician walking down a seam after welding to see if there are any voids or gaps or unbounded areas in the seams. And that is determined by a change in sound as the air nozzle moves down the seam. If there's an unbonded area or a gap in the seam, you will hear a different sound as the air lance goes down the seam. Here is the air lance test. ASTM 4437 discusses the Air Lance test, which is a non-destructive quality control test for geomembrane seams and patches. This test can be used for factory or field seams, and the seam types can be thermally bonded, hot air, hot wedge, extrusion, solvent, adhesive, or taped seams, or any other relevant seam. The equipment to run the test is a 3 16 inch or 4.8 millimeter nozzle where the compressed air will exit. The air should be pressurized to 50 PSI or greater or 345 kPa. And the nozzle should be held less than 2 inches or 50 millimeters from the seam as you saw in the prior video. The test is to locate small voids or unbounded areas or an unbonded areas in the seam. Here's the video I started with and the technicians moving down the seam and right here there's a little change in sound. It's a little easier to hear the change in sound in the laboratory. This is the Air Lance test in the laboratory moving down a factory seam from right to left, and you'll notice the change in sound as the air lance moves down the seam. There's a gap. The last non-destructive test I want to cover is an internal QC test for a fabricator and or installer of the geomembrane. This test is not required by ASTM 4437. It is not included in 4437 and it should not be required by a field inspector as part of ASTM D4437. But this is a test that is quickly done to assess a patch or a seam if you think the Air Lance test identified a potential unbonded area. This video illustrates the test where the technician goes around the patch in this particular video and looks for an unbonded area with the little pointed object that he has in his hand.
So that patch is well bonded. There were no unbonded areas, as you saw, in, in the seam uh, above the patch. That test is not required by ASTM D4437. The next video shows the same test where there are some small unbounded areas. The seam is still good, but the technician is showing a little areas where the seam was not bonded the full width. And those areas will be patched after this test. So that is a secondary test not covered by ASTM 4437. It can be used by a installer to investigate potential unbonded areas identified by the Air Lance test under 4437. If you have any questions, you can contact me at tstark at illinois.edu. You can also contact the Fabricated Geomembrane Institute at fabricatedgeomembrane at gmail.com. If you have an interest in geosynthetics and geomembranes, please visit the Fabricated Geomembrane Institute website. There is a lot of useful information on the website, including specifications, guidelines, installation details, technical papers and journal articles, Webinar, there's a li library of webinars, ASTM test method videos for both field and laboratory tests, photo gallery, as well as a lot of other useful information for the geosynthetics industry. The address is fabricatedgeomembrane.com. Thanks for listening.